this is multifaceted. Uh, consumers are gravitating toward plant-based foods because they're interested in improving their health. Maybe their doctor is telling them that they need less cholesterol in their diet, or perhaps a consumer is concerned about sort of the, the ecosystem or global warming, and they want to find a seamless way to um, sort of have proteins that are delicious for them, but don't necessarily contribute to more animal agriculture and greenhouse gas emissions. Or perhaps they're interested in animal welfare and they want to reduce their dependence on animal protein, and so they become flexitarian or reducitarian or vegetarian or vegan. Um, so there are a lot of different reasons why somebody would lean into plant-based foods. <laughs> And then I would say that millennials in general are sort of driving this um, sort of power toward the plant-based sort of consumer um, rise in uh, consumption. And I was just talking to these guys before we jumped on the panel. And for what we're seeing is that millen the millennial shopper is the first generation um, who has seen um, education around things like global warming in their, their textbooks in school. And so they're sort of coming into their own. They are having their own sort of dollars to spend. They're able to vote with those dollars. And perhaps they're deciding to purchase a little less animal protein to do, to do what they think is right to sort of contribute to a, a healthier world. Thank One you. thing that's interesting about those three factors is that there's people flowing into this segment of the industry from all, for all different reasons, like whether it's health or the environment or animals, but there's compounding reasons for them to stay. So if you're interested in eating healthfully and you think maybe I'll try a plant-based diet, and then you get there and you start learning about animal welfare, or you hear, oh, by the way, this is the best way I can impact you know, carbon emissions. And they're really like positive compounding things that cause consumers to feel good about being in this area. So right. almost, depend it doesn't matter why you got there, but I think when you get there, there are a lot of compelling reasons to remain. Yeah, And, and I, I, maybe no one noticed, but I'm a boomer, and uh, the doctor's <laughs> telling me to uh, step up and uh, back away from the beef a little bit, so. Nice. Um, we're a, uh, a, a population out there that will uh, uh, continue to uh, shop in the meat case and uh, looking for protein alternatives. And I think that's part of what's going on in there, to your point. Yeah.